to show you a quick overview of Business Central. We're going to take a look at the home page, a simple order to cash process, and a purchase to pay process. So let's get started. When I log into Business Central, the first thing I see is my home page. On my home page, I've got information about my business that makes it easy to stay in touch and also make decisions and execute transactions. If I scroll down a bit, I get some information on overdue invoices that I owe my vendors. Let's click into that. I can see those listed here. If I want to, I can pay them right from this page. Let's go to process and then create a payment. I also have easy access to sales orders and purchase documents over here. I can click on sales orders and see all of my open sales orders. If I scroll down a little further, I get even more information on my business. Here I have business assistance, which graphically represents how my business is doing in several different categories. I scroll down a little bit more. I've got a trial balance here. I can drill down into this trial balance amount, look at a particular account, and look at the detail on that account. Here I've got all the transactions making up the balance in that account on my trial balance. To the left of this, I have an area where I can put my favorite accounts, accounts that I go to on a regular basis. For example, accounts receivable. Let's take a look at that. I've got all the details in that account right here. If I want to look at a particular invoice, I can easily do that. I'll select it here. And I can look at the invoice itself. And this is the document that's in the system that represents what I sold to my customer. And these are the general ledger entries related to that particular transaction. One thing I can do here, and I can do this on almost every screen in Business Central, is I can personalize this. I can add additional information to the screen. I can change the order of the screen. Let me show you how to do that. It's very simple. If I go up to the settings wheel here, go to personalize, I'm going to add a field. And the field I want to add is the GL account name because I want to know what these numbers are. You can just add it right there, drag and drop, and I'm done. Now I've personalized this particular screen. Every time I go back to the screen, I'll get this personalization. And here I've got the account name for these accounts. And that's a quick view of the home page. Now let's take a look at the office integration between Outlook and Business Central. As a business manager for my Business Central company, I received this email from one of my customers asking me to place an order for him for a couple items. You can see those items here. I can do this directly from Outlook by using the connection to Business Central. To activate that, I'm going to click on Contact Insights. And this is the customer here. When I click on that customer, I get information about the customer. I have details about that customer. I can drill into that and see the invoices that that customer owes me. I also have tiles down here that show me open sales orders, completed sales orders, invoices. And what I want to do is I want to take this email from my customer and turn it into a sales order. It's very easy to do. So from Outlook, I can click on New, click on Sales Order. And what's going to happen is Business Central looked at the email and determined that there were three sales items on there. It pulled off the items and also the quantities. I'm going to select these because I want these items to go into a sales order. Hit OK. And this is a sales order in Business Central that's been created automatically from Outlook. And what I want to do now is inform my customer that I have placed this order for him. So I'm going to go up here. Scroll down. I'm going to send an order confirmation to him. This is the email generated. It includes some information on the order, and it includes a copy of the sales order itself. Here's a sales order right here. And now the customer has been advised that I've entered the order on his behalf. And now let's take a look at that sales order in Business Central. I see all my open sales orders right here. This is the last one created, so let's go into that. Here I've got the line items that were included on the email from my customer. This order is all ready to go. 
So from the order, I can ship it here. I can also invoice it. If my warehouse tells me it has already shipped this items, I can ship and invoice this document. And now that order has been shipped and invoiced, it comes off the open order list. And now I've received payment from my customer for that particular order. So let's record that. I'm going to go in my cash receipt journal here, specify a customer, look up the customer from whom I've received the payment. And what I can do now is I can look at my open invoices and select the ones that have been paid. Here's the invoice here that we just created. He paid that one, so I'm going to mark that as being paid. Hit OK. I'm going to hit Post. And now that cash receipt has been successfully posted against that invoice and sent to the bank reconciliation module. There's also a nice integration with Excel and Business Central. Let's take a look at that. I'm going to go to my customer list here. These are my customers. And I added this particular list to my home page by bookmarking it over here. What I want to do is I want to download this list and change the payment terms for these customers. So go up here, edit in Excel. It creates the Excel spreadsheet down here in the lower left. Let's open that up. When I enable editing, it's going to create a connection back to Business Central and then load the spreadsheet with the items from the customer list. You can see the customer list here. And what I want to do is I want to scroll over and look at the payment terms. These are the payment terms right here. I have quite a variety of them. I just found out my controller said I want them all the same. They need to be 15 days. So all I need to do is select this. This is already 15 days. I'll just copy that and paste it down here to the rest of the customers in this list. And when I'm done, I'll hit Publish. And it's going to update Business Central with those new payment terms for each customer. Let's go through a quick purchase to pay scenario. I'm going to add a new purchase order. I can add these manually, or I can have Business Central automatically generate them with an MRP process. This is a new purchase order. I'll enter the vendor's name. You can just enter part of it, tab off, it'll look up the vendor master file here, and I'll enter an item. I'm going to purchase this item, and I'm going to have it shipped to my main warehouse, and I'll order a quantity of 20. So this purchase order is complete. I can email it to my vendor if I want to. So I'm going to pretend that I've received these items and I've also received the vendor's invoice. I'll enter the vendor's invoice here and I'll go to posting. If I wanted to perform a three-way match on this particular purchase, I could receive it and then come back later and match the invoice to the receiver and to the PO. But I'm going to receive an invoice this at one time. I'll just hit OK. Now that purchase has been entered into my accounts payable. And I want to go ahead and pay that. I'm going to open up a payment journal, select this one here, and then look up the vendor. So now I have the vendor selected. I'm going to select the invoices I want to pay on this particular payment. I'm going to select these two. So here's my total payment here. I can scroll over here and see the total payment, $19,000. I can use several different payment types in Business Central. I can create a check. I can also do EFT, ACH payments, but I'm going to just do a computer check for this. And this journal is ready to go. I'm going to print the check. Here's the check information right here. I could go ahead and print that. Once I've printed out the checks and I'm happy with them, I can just post this. And I'm done. This has been a quick overview of Dynamics 365 Business Central. We looked at the home page, some navigation related to that, how to personalize any screen within the system a simple order to cash process, then a purchase to pay process. Business Central is an easy to use ERP system.